8 november 2013. In het Europees parlement in Brussel beraadt het comité van de regio zich over economische groei door smart specializations, slimme specialisaties. Voor eerst dus de vraag, wat zijn slimme specialisaties? To me, what it means is that uh, regions essentially have to build on their strength. Um, I think in the past, when you looked at cohesion policy, too many regions wanted the same thing. They all wanted uh, high-tech clusters, biotechnology, etc. This didn't make sense. Uh, regions need to think about what is it uh, that I do well. Uh, can be pertaining to uh, the industrial base. It can pertain to geographical nature, and then build on that strength. So one of the examples that was presented here today was for instance the shoe industry in Italy and explaining how the shoe industry which by definition is a very traditional industry can move up the value chain uh, through a custom made products through a greater technology use. De bijeenkomst van het Europese Comité van de Regio's vindt voor het eerst plaats op initiatief van Vlaanderen. Die regio geldt internationaal als een inspirerend voorbeeld voor nieuw industrieel beleid. Nu is voor Vlaanderen samenwerking met andere regio's aan de orde. Clusters en ecosystems van verschillende regio's moeten coöperen. We kunnen dit stimuleren door de juiste politiekeuzes. Vlaanderen, bijvoorbeeld, heeft al een bilateral op bilaterale coöperatie met verschillende andere regio's. Ik heb het de Nederlanden, maar ook de Noordrijn west Germany. Germanië. We proberen to, to een dezelfde strategie te hebben. Voor uh, uh, dit issue. Wanneer wij ons blijven focussen op uh, massaproductie zonder hoge toegevoegde waarde, dan komen wij in concurrentie met China en die andere lage loonlanden en verliezen we die concurrentie, verliezen we ook werkgelegenheid. Vandaar is het absoluut noodzakelijk om deze uh, weg in te slaan, innovatief hoge toegevoegde waarde creëren, uh, vooral door kleine en middelgrote ondernemingen waar ook Vlaanderen heel sterk in staat en dat dit de enige weg is, niet alleen voor Vlaanderen, maar ook voor uh, de rest van uh, Europa om die concurrentiepositie met de andere werelddelen te handhaven, maar sterker nog om die welvaart en welzijn in, uh, in Vlaanderen, maar ook in de rest van uh, Europa te verzekeren. Bringing together clusters from biotechnology and nanotechnology, two sectors which have been strong but until now independent of one another, is what Flanders is opted to do. Nano for Health is one of many good examples of smart specialization in Europe. There are two objectives to preserve the healthcare system and to diversify the economy thanks to these innovative solutions. Flanders, I think, uh, is already seen as being at the leading edge of innovation. If resources for research and in, uh, innovation investments are scarce, it only makes sense to concentrate on sectors where funding will have the most impact. Das ist sozusagen am Radarschirm von eigentlich uns allen und es geht jetzt darum, dass man die verschiedenen Aktivitäten zusammenfasst und, wie es so schön heißt, die Mehrwert schafft. All is not well in the kingdom of smart. Oh. What do you have to say? Speak up! If I may be so bold, Your Grace, we urgently need an innovation strategy for smart specialization. Die Idee in allen 275 Regionen Europas eine Smart Specialization Strategie zu haben, ist für viele Regionen Neuland. This manuscript explains how smart specialization can work. We are now in year five of a severe economic uh, crisis. Uh, we've seen a lot of loss of jobs, very slow growth. Uh, this is essentially what it means, is we need innovation to reinvigorate our economy. And uh, this is why not all is well in the kingdom of smart, but uh, we can use smart specialization to drive forward uh, growth and to drive forward innovation. De vraag is nog wat is eigenlijk zo nieuw aan slimme specialisatie? Was dat niet al altijd een streven voor de industrie? I do think it is new in the sense that it is not really a top-down strategy. It is conceived really as a bottom-up. And there was a lot of talk about entre entrepreneurial discovery. There is really a sense that we need to bring in uh, uh, the corporate sector, uh, bring in the entrepreneurs, work with universities. So really broaden the uh, collaborative uh, spirit uh, to not make it primarily about what uh, public agencies want in a top-down approach. But Beware, this is not a magical solution. It needs leadership, commitment, collaboration, and future-oriented investment and faith in our future. Good young lady.
En toch zien we in de werkelijkheid van elke dag dat heel wat mensen werkloos zijn. Volgens Anne Mettler brengt slimme specialisatie soelaas. Many of the jobs, if not all of the jobs that have been lost in the crisis, in my opinion, have been lost for good. So what it means is we really need new kinds of companies and we all know, and this is really demonstrated also by organizations such as the OECD, 50% of new jobs in the last decade have come from companies that are less than five years old. There's an important lesson in this for us. This conference, the strategy building, this is the beginning. This is not the end. We have a lot of work ahead of us. Sorry for being too long. I hope you have a fruitful discussion in the different workshops. Thank you. Let's go for smart specialization.